This is a quick tutorial on how to generate <coughs> a, um, a linear trend line and get the equation for that line uh, based on some data. And here, uh, this is using uh, Excel, and I have version uh, 2007. Um, but I think uh, the principle is pretty much the same regardless of what version you have. So here I have some data and I'm going to select that data and then um, we can uh, we need to get a, a plot first and so here with Excel 2007 we have the ribbon we're gonna go to insert and then here are the different types of uh, of plots that we can make we want the uh, the scatter plot and we'll just do a uh, one without the line. All right. So here is the plot that comes up. Uh, the data that I have here is just uh, some random uh, data. It doesn't really have any meaning, but it illustrates uh, the purpose. Okay. So here we have our data, and you can see uh, it looks like it makes a nice line. But we want to see that line. We want to actually get the equation for that line that best fits that data. So if we click on the data, uh, we right click on it, you'll notice uh, down here there is an option that says add trend line. Okay. If you click on that, um, it will pop up this um, options box and you'll notice there's uh, several different types of trends that it can uh, fit to your data we want a linear trend um, but let's uh, look at this option down here there um, is an option that says display equation on the chart if we click that then we'll actually get the equation for the line and here it is. It draws the line in there that best fits our data. And then you'll notice there is uh, the equation for the line. And it's in the form of y equals mx plus b. All right? So if we need the slope of the line, we just uh, copy that number, 2.9082 in my case. And um, we can uh, use that value, right? So for kinetics type calculations, um, for example, this would be how you would find uh, the slope of uh, of the line through your data. Okay, hope that's helpful.